Good evening. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, from uh, I'm speaking to you from Asia Society Hong Kong Center as a former explosive magazine. I am Alice Wong, Executive Director of uh, Asia Society Hong Kong, and it is a great uh, honor to uh, invite, welcome all of you for tonight's celebration. Uh, it was 10 years ago that Asia Society Hong Kong opened this wonderful center uh, here in Admiralty on Nine Justice Drive. Um, I, unfortunately, this last few weeks, we've been close due to uh, social distancing restrictions, government restrictions, and we hope to be opening to the public real soon. Um, hopefully by the end of this month, if not, definitely in March. And, uh, and we look forward to welcoming you all back uh, to Asia Society Hong Kong for our current exhibition, as well as uh, uh, programs. In the meantime, we have to use formats like this tonight, Zoom, and we're really delighted to be partnering with Whiskey and Word to bring you, uh, they have created a wonderful cocktail to celebrate Asia Society Hong Kong's uh, 10th anniversary, and it's called Explosive Magazine. And we're going to hear more about it from uh, our wonderful bartender, Nicholas. Uh, Nick from uh, Whiskey and Word in a, briefly. But I, again, I want to thank all of you um, to, for joining us. And I know starting tomorrow, uh, it will be not quite a lockdown, but almost a lockdown. And uh, it will be very hard to get together with, uh, with family and friends uh, with all the restrictions and with all of the closing for the next two weeks. But in the meantime, I hope you will take this opportunity to get together with friends like this. And I know Whiskey and Words can uh, provide the wonderful libation and cocktail. And in fact, uh, after this, you can order uh, this uh, wonderful cocktail and it'll be delivered to you um, if, uh, if uh, for those of you fortunate enough to be living in the right area. So um, I know it's going to be very difficult this next few weeks with uh, us not being able to get together in person, but this is really the next best thing. And we're really delighted here at Asia Society Hong Kong that we can celebrate tonight with you. Uh, 10 years ago, it was full of, uh, you know, a lot of people here. Uh, and a lot has happened in 10 years. And I'm really proud from the video you just saw earlier, um, some of the programs that Asia Society Hong Kong has been able to bring you uh, on the business and policy side, arts and culture. And we have done over 30 exhibitions. I'm really, really proud of our team. Uh, the team has done wonderful, uh, a wonderful job to bring you a quality program consistently. And even this last two years, uh, despite the opening and closing, uh, we've been able to bring you online program, hybrid program, and occasionally in-person program, concerts and events. And we will continue to do that. Uh, and so stay tuned on Asia Society's Hong Kong uh, website and our social, follow us on our social media, and you will be seeing more programs like this in the coming days. And, and thank you all for joining us and thank you for your support and being part of the Asia Society Hong Kong family. So let's proceed to the cocktail. Nick. Thank you so much, Alice. And a big congratulations to Asia Society Hong Kong as they celebrate 10 years at their heritage site. So I'm joined by our star mixologist today, Emma, who will be doing the live demonstration shortly. So uh, we at Whiskey and Words are delighted to create a one of a kind cocktail. Uh, it's called Explosive Magazine, as Alice had mentioned, and Explosive uh, is spelled E-X-P, then one zero S-I-V-E-S magazine to commemorate this occasion. So the name itself is derived from the former Explosive Magazine heritage site, and obviously incorporating the number 10 as well to celebrate 10 years at this site. So first and foremost, welcome to Whiskey and Words. Um, a bit about us, for over three years, we've been a little sanctuary here in Soho uh, for whiskey lovers and serving award-winning cocktails. As a speakeasy, we are a bar that's hidden in plain sight here in Shin Ping Street, which is between Hollywood Road and Go Street. Um, from when you do find our place and you find a little hidden button, and the door magically slides open, you'll be greeted by our friendly mixologist, our upbeat vibes, and a collection of over 350 uh, rare, vintage, hard to find uh, whiskeys from around the world, uh, sourced globally, and which continues to grow and evolve every single day. So our aim here at Whiskey and Words uh, is to bring the world of whiskey to a wider audience in an inviting and contemporary environment. Whether you like it neat on the rocks or in a cocktail, uh, our knowledgeable staff will be able to help you start your whiskey journey here at Whiskey Awards. We also regularly host uh, master classes, events with brand ambassadors, and our venue is also perfect for hosting different celebrations or corporate events. Um, our door is always open, and we invite you to come join us 
very soon, hopefully as the restrictions are lifted. In the meantime, though, we do have a uh, takeaway bottles featuring some of our most popular signature cocktails, uh, which you can then enjoy whiskey and words from the comfort of your own home, or it's a perfect gift for our family and friends. So uh, in the chat, in the chat box itself, uh, they'll list more details on the different cocktails that we have on offer or takeaway, uh, and also how you can order. So uh, without any further delay, I'll now pass it over to Emil, who will demonstrate uh, a few of our signature cocktails. So Emil. Thank you, Nick. Hey, guys. How are you doing? I'm Emil, and I'm bartender here at Whiskey and Woods. Uh, I've been making cocktails for like 10 years. So uh, today we'll be having our uh, cocktail masterclass. So I hope uh, everyone knows what cocktail is. So it's basically a mixture of two or more ingredients with alcohol. So we've got a simple cocktail, like gin and tonic, rum and cup, uh, vodka, vodka soda, which is called like a uh, vodka and ginger beer, like a muscle meal. Uh, but today uh, we're going to make a little bit more classic and a little bit more fun uh, cocktail to make. Uh, first, we're going to make a whiskey sour. So whiskey sour, obviously, with whiskey. Uh, we use a, a mixed American bourbon. Uh, you can use any kind of whiskeys. Uh, we just prefer this one. Uh, I hope you have everything at home if you want to make uh, at home and drink by yourself. So uh, main beers that we need for this cocktail is lemon juice, sugar syrup, or sugar, uh, whiskey, and egg white. Uh, if you are into uh, vegetarian uh, and don't, don't want uh, egg white, you can also use uh, the uh, chickpea and juice, uh, which also works the same way uh, because it's basically protein, so it helps uh, with the foam. Um, so, if, uh, so for the, uh, for the lemon, uh, lemon juice, uh, it's better to use a freshly squeezed lemon juice. So uh, we have a nice lemon. I'm just going to squeeze it. Make a juice. Yeah. Sorry. Lemon juice. So if you have a, a measuring cup uh, digger, uh, what we use for the bar like this. So what you're going to do, uh, we're going to use like one uh, three quarter of an ounce, of like a 20. 0.5 milliliter of uh, lemon juice, or uh, you can basically get it from almost one uh, lemon juice. So we're gonna get lemon juice. Uh, we got sugar. So uh, for bars, uh, for like easy and fast, efficient way, we make a syrup of it. Uh, you can uh, make it at home. I can just put some uh, sugar, uh, how sweet you want. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of sugar like uh, 20 mil and whiskey uh, we use 45 ml 50 ml of you want more boozy whiskey sour and you can use 60 ml there you go i'm going to use 45 ml of the whiskey Done. and egg white so you use uh, one whole egg white or a little bit of the chickpea juice if you don't like egg white that's it. So, uh, so the, for the whiskey sour, uh, normally we just shake with. Uh, normally for any cocktails, we just shake it with ice, so that, uh, we, it mixes pretty much. Uh, but with whiskey sour, we try to use uh, shake it without ice first, so that you can get nice foam. So you just um, shake it. Can I get <laughs> And then uh, now uh, we're going to use some ice so that you can hold and the reason why we say cocktail is first of all can mix the put we mix the ingredients and also second is to uh to make it chilled uh, and also to dilute the ice. Uh, the, uh, the cocktail with ice, so that it's more balanced. So you can either shake it like this, or like, like this. You can shake it in any way you like. Follow 10 seconds and it's done. 
this one's done. Now we use some kind of uh, strainer. Strain on the top of glass. So yeah, uh, we, we got a big ice so that uh, it dilutes a little bit slower. The drink, you can drink it for a long time or if you are uh, alcoholic and you don't drink fast and you don't need, need uh, like big ice, so it's just a waste of money. Or you can just drink it without ice as well. Uh, as for the garnish, we here, uh, we prefer to use uh, a little bit of the uh, bitters, angustula bitters, just to have a little bit, look a little bit nicer. There's a whiskey sour uh, with nice fruit in it, and then you can just drink it. Cheers, guys. Nice. So the next one, uh, we're gonna make a another classic whiskey cocktail because we are a whiskey bar. Uh, it's called old fashioned cocktail. Uh, so so uh, back then, uh, cocktails like uh, uh, there was not so many, so many fancy cocktails, so it's just uh, and they also use it to mask the bad bad alcohol back in, back then. Um, so they just use a sugar, a little bit of aromatic bitters, and any cream they got, and then they go to a bar and just ask for uh, give me that uh, old fashioned cocktail. So that's how the name uh, came out to be. So <clears throat> an old fashioned cocktail is basically any spirit with sugar aromatic bitters and on a rock glass or any glass, uh, let's drink it. You can make it with uh, any spirits, but since we are whiskey bar, we're gonna use uh, whiskey. So for uh, for sugar, uh, if you uh, if you make a syrup, it's gonna be easier, but if you don't uh, have a syrup, you can use uh, ice uh, sugar cube as well. One sugar cube should be good enough, or if you don't like it too sweet, then half. So we're gonna use uh, syrup, like around five ml, a little bit, not so sweet. If you like it more sweet, then you can put more uh, whiskey. <laughs> so we use 60 ml whiskey because all fashion is the boozy cocktail. It's a glass of whiskey. And then we have aromatic bitters. So aromatic bitters is basically uh, alcohol, uh, which is around the same uh, alcohol percentage as whiskey, uh, but with spices, herbs, and other, in and other ingredients, sacred ingredients. So we get like three days. So the first cocktail we make whiskey sour, we shake it. This cocktail, uh, we're going to stir it. So the reason why we uh, shake is because there's uh, different ingredients, so it's hard to mix. So you just have to shake it properly to, um, to uh, mix it well together. But since old fashioned is just like translucent, so like it's easy to make. So you just you need to shake. Uh, and uh, also like if you shake it, the air in the second tin it gets in the cocktail, so it gets a little bit more uh, crispy. Whereas if you just stir it, it's gonna be silky smooth. That's what we want in our old fashioned. Now next we going to put some ice. And we can have beer with our bar spoon, or if you have a spoon at home, that's also okay. Uh, for all fashion, you need to uh, it's still a little bit more because it's pretty good here and you want to dilute a little bit more. And also, like, chill it pretty good. So, you uh, still it for like uh, 15 seconds, 10, 15, 12, 15 seconds, um, and it's good. It's a bit good. Chill, dilute, and now again we have a nice ice in the glass. So just like before, we put big, big ice so that it dilutes slowly. And for, as for a garnish, a garnish just to complement the drink. So we're gonna use the orange zest. We can use a uh, lemon as well. It's okay. Whatever we have left in our bowl, and it is gonna 
sprinkle it a little bit of say, so, so, uh, oils from the orange and it's gonna smell nice. So just put in the ring and then into the ring. Mm. That's the old fashioned. So yeah, uh, if, uh, if, if you don't want to whiskey cocktail, you want any other spirit, so you can just uh, change the spirit. So, um, so for the whiskey sour, you can put zinc, vodka, cognac, and it's gonna be a different cocktail. Uh, in a, uh, in a uh, old fashioned as well, you can put any other spirits. Uh, also for sweetness, uh, you, you can try like uh, any other like tea flavor, fruit flavor syrups. Uh, you can use any other uh, citrus and it's gonna make you a little different as how you make a different uh, style of cocktails. Also as for the 10th anniversary special cocktail, we make the, sorry, what's the name again? Explosive Magazine. Explosive Magazine, yeah, sorry about that. So uh, it's basically um, uh, it's uh, it's a different kind of cocktail. So so we don't we don't need to shake it. We don't need to stir it. So uh, it, uh, we make it uh, like in a batch. So it's an old style of making cocktail. Like well, not making a solid. Uh, old style of uh, from the eighteen hundreds uh, in the UK. Uh, they used to um, have a, uh, extra milk and lots of uh, citrus and alcohol. So they, what they use is they use the milk to clarify the, uh, the cocktail and then it will last indefinitely like uh, for a month. So uh, the main ingredients in this cocktail uh, is gin. So we use an uh, all gray tea to infuse in the gin. So what we do is we put uh, all gray uh, sachets, put in the gin for like uh, an hour and then the gin is all gray flavor. And then uh, we use some strawberry, some plum, layer of ginger, uh, we mix it together and then we use uh, milk. So uh, what milk does is like, if you put citrus in the milk, it's gonna um, boil it. So it's gonna, um, what do you call it? It's gonna separate the milk particles, solid particles. So it takes away all the harshness, all the uh, bad partic uh, particles uh, from the cocktail. So like all the, the, the musky, the uh, multi color of the cocktail, it takes away. And then after you strain it, we get a fine, clear cocktail. So this one you can uh, keep in the fridge for two weeks, and then you can just bring it whenever you want. Uh, this uh, this one's uh, like uh, you get a nice uh, milky flavor. I uh, it doesn't taste milky at all because it's uh, crystal clear. But I, uh, for me, it tastes a little bit like a biscuit with a little of uh, ginger, uh, ginger and fruitiness. So yeah, uh, you can you can get this one uh, from us. Uh, you can you can order it online. Uh, we also have a few other cocktails. That's it. Uh, if you want, we, we can also do it uh, by bottles. Thank you very much. And thank you. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much, Jamal. So at this point, uh, the cocktail demonstration has is complete. So let's back off to Alice and Vince. Uh, I guess it's a Q and A session as well, right? Yeah. Any other questions? If you want. So um, there's a question for you um, for Whiskey and Words. So it's uh, from Claudia Moore. So she's asking, uh, which take home cocktail would you recommend? So, uh, so for, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, three different other cocktails that we are currently doing in the bar. Uh, which one is a, our best-selling cocktail in here, uh, which is also similar to, uh, to, to the uh, the 10th, uh, 10th anniversary cocktail, uh, which is uh, clarified by milk. So it tastes uh, like a little bit like the tom yum gong soup. So we we, uh, we are inspired by, we like the tom yum gong soup. So like, uh, we make it a uh, cocktail. Uh, it's our best selling one there. Uh, we also make uh, old fashioned, uh, but this one, the old fashioned that we are doing, it's a coffee flavored. So it's like coffee flavored, um, strong, boozy drink. And also another one is the Negroni, uh, but this one's uh, whiskey Negroni, which has been, uh, uh, what do you call it? Which is uh, 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 the taste profile, it's more in the smokiness uh, because we use lapsam tea. We infuse the lapsam tea, the smoky tea into the whiskey and we make a Negroni with it, uh, which is bitter, sweet um, and strong. So we have coffee flavor, smoky, Thai style and 
the 10th anniversary cocktail. All right, thank you. So um, I think we have like quite a few whiskey fan here as well, like including me myself. So when when Craig Chance is asking about uh, not friendly about the cocktail we're having here, so how long does a bottle of whiskey last once it's opened? How long should we like put it? Uh, so you 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 mean um like a like a, any bottle of whiskey like how long yes, it's gonna last? Is. Yes. Uh, so it, it's it's gonna last like indefinitely uh, because it basically has alcohol and water and the alcohol kills everything that's gonna uh, spoil spoil the whiskey. Uh, some says like after three years, uh, if it's like uh, less than half, it uh, tends to lose a little bit of its character. But I don't know because. I, I haven't I haven't kept the whiskey bottle for three years. So I just finished it like within a month. So uh, so yeah, some say some say some theories say that uh, after three years, four years, it lose little of character. But yeah, uh, you, you can just keep it a, a long time once it opens. It doesn't spoil. Okay, so we can keep as long as we can. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> so another questions about um, the whiskey as well so uh, what other ingredients for example like herbs spice we usually mix to the whiskey right uh, which one what other ingredients would go best with whiskey so it all depends on what you want to make so like uh, as, as a bartender uh, so we make a lot of cocktails we use different uh, fl uh, different flavors depend on the uh, on the uh, season. So if it's like summer uh, summer season, we we try to use a uh, like fruit flavor with the whiskey. Uh, basically, anything goes with whiskey. Uh, you, you, uh, you can make any cocktail with uh, fruits in it. Uh, you can uh, uh, add a little bit of uh, tea, a little bit of herbs. Uh, if it's uh, like autumn, uh, we try to go a little bit of like more like ginger, uh, uh, smoke kind of flavor. So like we tend to go depending on the season because like most of the whiskeys, they, they go with any other uh, flavors. So my favorite would be whiskey uh, with lapsang tea uh, because you get nice smoke flavor. And we, you can make either an old fashioned, Negroni, whiskey sour, and it's gonna come out like a different kind of cocktail. And also, you can add a little bit of um, other herbs like like thyme or uh, basil, uh, and then it's gonna change the flavor as well. So, so um, there's a following question about the um, time for we keeping the whiskey after once it's opened from Alice. So, uh, once the whiskey is opened so is it like the wine like it's get it gets better with age for that one uh no like no alcohol gets better uh after open like even wine is even worse like uh, white wine if you don't seal it uh, then it's gonna get bad in like two days red wine three days four days so it's, uh, the, you get more of the uh sourness in the in the, in the wines um as for whiskey once you open it like I said before, it's it lasts most almost indefinitely. Uh, he he should be uh, drinking it before a year or two. But like uh, yeah, after three years, it gets a little bit. Uh, people say it, uh, it loses a little bit of character. But uh, I think the question should uh, should be like if you keep the wine on open for a long time. I don't know. Like uh, for me, I, I uh, personally, I think it's just a mix that uh, bold. Uh, whiskey or uh, wines that taste better because there's nothing going on unless in like a special bottle that ages the uh, whiskey or wine uh, in it because once it's bottled there's no aging in it so it's just it's gonna be like that for a long time uh, unless wine you put it in a warm place and it, it gets it, it gets spoiled but a uh, whiskey or uh, any other uh, any other spirits. It 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 doesn't change its character, and um, the, uh, the most uh, more than more than like uh, like in the market like the prices of the old whiskeys or wines are high is because it's hard to gauge, so it's more like supply and demand rather than the taste of it. Maybe some of them taste good when it was bottled, but it's not because it's been uh, in the bottle for a long time. <laughs> 
Sure. So uh, what I mean is, like, once we open the whiskey, like, um, we better like finish it as soon as possible. So it doesn't matter. Like, it, it tastes better if we keep it longer. Uh, no, well, not as soon as possible, but yeah, like I have, I have some bottles like we been there for like three years, like but a little bit left. Uh, it, uh, I don't really find any much difference in it. I, I, I do drink have a glass of it, like occasionally. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's not uh, like uh, like I don't recommend drinking like within a month. So like it's up to you when you want to drink it. But uh, yeah, it, it doesn't lose the cat character like uh, for me in like more, uh, like further down the road. Unless you are really you have like really good palate and you can change a little bit minor difference in the whiskey. True. Um. I think that's it for a question. So we don't have any new questions. So I think that's it. And yeah, somebody like saying they're having the um, explosive magazine right now and they're enjoying it. So thank you very much for that. So Nicholas, um, is there any, any details for me? Uh, and, yeah. well, not too much. I think everybody has the link in the chat. So if you're interested in any of the cocktails that were made today, um, and the ones that Emil uh, described as well, loss of translation, coffee, your oppression, and our uh, skin was negative. Mm -hmm. Also, if, if you have a question regarding the whiskey age, uh, I don't know if everyone knows. Uh, so the, the age, uh, age uh, in the whiskey, uh, uh, it, it, it doesn't mean that the whiskey has been... Uh, 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 aged only for that much year. It's basically it's the it's the uh, minimum uh, so the uh, what do you call it? So it's the whiskey that's been uh, that uh, has been aged uh, that much. Uh, so it means like um, so whiskey, right? Like like let's say Mokalan Tuel. So the Mokalan Tuel means like uh, so the uh, whiskey. It's a mix of different. Uh, Years, but the minimum age uh, whiskey is twelve years old. So, like, if it's twenty four, then the minimum age whiskey mixed in it is like twenty four years old. So, I don't know if anyone knows. If everyone knows it, so it's it's a little bit of knowledge. <laughs> so, again, yeah, these are the many things that uh, different customers, patrons who come in whiskey and words, do conversation with them all are the mixologists something that they learn and something that we're sort of promoting. So they, like people ask like, oh, what does the uh, the twelve years old uh, you know whiskey mean? And they're like, oh, it's the minimum uh, age aging uh, aged whiskey in the whiskey because one whiskey doesn't have only one whiskey. It's like blend of different whiskeys, even if it's all single malt. So yeah, I think that's pretty pretty much it on our side. So thank you so much, Paul. Uh, if you're looking to order any other takeaway bottles, uh, you can definitely WhatsApp us. Uh, it's in the chat box. Um, in terms of other events, uh, hopefully the restrictions will end soon, so we can obviously have you here all day long, but we'll be opening again soon, um, hopefully next week, or some reduced hours. But in the meantime, we hope to continue doing more Zoom events, obviously in collaboration here with Asia Society Hong Kong, wonderful event today. So yeah, that's it from us. So pass it back to you, Vince. Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much as well. Thank you, Whiskey Words, for um, making the whiskey for us. Thank you. Thank you, Emil. Thank you, Nick. Uh, and I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight. Uh, I'm going to be ordering. Uh, uh, and in fact, I just subscribed and I'm going to be ordering from Whiskey and Words. And I hope you will too. And I want to thank you again for joining us and help us celebrate our ninth anniversary, our 10th anniversary uh, on February 9th tonight. And, uh, and I hope uh, all of you stay well, stay safe. Uh, we will get through this next couple of weeks together. Uh, and I know I will be seeing some of you on Zoom chats and so on. But thank you. Thank you all for, for being with us. And thank you all for your support over the, um, over the years. And we're going to be uh, seeing you online for a while. But we look forward to welcoming you back uh, for our exhibition, uh, you know, Resilient Recovery and Resurgence, which is uh, a wonderful photography exhibition uh, that is supposed to be with us till March, but we're very likely to extend it. So thank you and have a wonderful evening and drink a cocktail on us. Thank you. <laughs>